Hi folks, uh, here's a part two on the brushes. This one's gonna be about how to clean them. Um, my name's Lynn Looney, I'm a professional artist. I'm making these short, five minutes or less, on geared for beginners, absolute beginners. All right, I am using some black paint. This is a three quarter inch craft brush. It's a synthetic bristle. It's, I really like uh, working with these and these are the ones that I supply. Uh, for my students to try out. Now, I've got several can containers of water anytime I'm painting. The first one is for the, fir the strong rinse of the color off the brush. And you can see I'm patting on a uh, paper towel and there's still a lot of color in that brush, especially if you're going from a dark color to a light color. A lot of times I'll have several brushes of the same size and I'll keep one going with dark colors, one going with light colors. Okay, now this is going to show a, a thorough cleansing. This is actually what you do at the end of the day after you're finished painting. Uh, what you want to do is clean them thoroughly and what I'm trying to illustrate is whenever you think it's clean it's not there's still some paint in there and in time it'll accumulate and it will cause those bristles to spread all right so I've got just a little chunk of soap and uh, as you can see the bubbles are turning colors because it's pulling that all that paint that's in there and what you want to do is do this several times until the bubbles come out nice and clean. Then what you do is I take and I'll rinse it one last time. Check out on the paper towel and or rag to make sure that it's blending. And I will really push that brush, squeezing the excess water out and double checking to make, there's, make sure there's no more pigment coming up. And then I will just stroke the brush across the soap, maybe once or twice, and no more than that just for sizing. When you buy brand new brushes, you'll notice that they'll be stiff. They've got a sizing uh, that they've been dipped in to make sure that they keep their shape. And that's what I'm doing right here is uh, reshaping the bristles. See how they're nice and straight. And then don't set them upright to dry. Uh, instead, I'm propping it on the edge of a styrofoam plate or anything, as long as you've got circulation of air all the way around it and let it dry. And then once it's dry, you can set it upright. Uh, but that moisture will run down into the ferrule and weaken the, uh, weaken the glue. Okay, here are our buddies. Uh, this is from the previous one. I was showing what not to do. And uh, some of these are beyond repair. Um, the two on the right, uh, it's stiff with paint. Uh, the other one's got a lot of paint in it. And this is a hack. There are products at the art uh, store that you can use, but if you don't have an art store handy, which we don't, I'm in a little small town in rural Tennessee, uh, Murphy's Oil Soap works really pretty good. Uh, use a tomato paste can or something that's very narrow. Uh, because you use this full strength, you don't dilute it, and you put just enough in there to cover the bristles. And they're usually stiff, so they're not gonna splay, they're not gonna bend. And you leave that 24 to 48 hours, and most times it will lift that paint out of there. And then you uh, wash them, uh, clear the soap. Uh, so the next tutorial is gonna be about paints. And each one I'm trying to keep within five minutes. If you've got questions, if there's something you want to hear or see specifically, by all means, please put down in the comments and uh, subscribe. Uh, hit that little bell icon and you'll be notified every time I put one of these things up. Plus, check out some of my other videos. I've got some uh, lengthy ones on how to's, both in acrylic and watercolor, and I'll be adding to those uh, weekly. I hope. That's the intent. Thanks for watching.